Ralston. Do you know him? Have you ever heard about his name? Have you ever heard about his story? Well, I did. You know 127 Hours movie? It's about him. He was hiding all alone, and then a boulder fell onto his right hand, and then he trapped against the rock. He waited four days all alone, and then he decided to amputate his hand with a pocket knife. A pocket knife. The amazing from this story, it's how he told us about that story. He will smile. But do you know what he said? He said that things could have been more worse. And for me, that is amazing. We might not have faced at first it is as bad as Aaron, but I know and I'm sure that all of us have the same problems. And sometimes, like Aaron, we are much, we are much expected to make a sacrifice in order to get what we want. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sarah Alisa Distriana and I'm from State Polytechnic of Balikpapan. Today, I'm standing over here to tell you my story and how I persist in the face of adversity. <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, in 2018, I got rejected from six, more than six universities. They rejected me. Well, I'm hoping so much that I can be accepted there. I want to be like other teenagers. But I know that my family seems like financially incapable to pay my education. And I realize about that. And I directly, they told me that I can attend the university that I have to find a job, just find a job and help my parents. And actually, I'm not a problem. I will help my parents, but I also want to get a higher education. And indirectly, they told me to give up my dream as literary. I guess there's nothing I can do, right? I feel stressed out. And it's driving me crazy because I don't know what to do. The one night I remember what OG Mandino said. He is the greatest salesman. He says that I will persist until I succeed. I will never consider defeat. And I will remove from my, from my vocabularies such words and phrases as quit. Failure. I know that I can do this. So I try to hold on. I try to help my parents. I don't want to make my parents think so much, think too hard that they can give me a chance like other teenagers to go college in a good university. That's why after I got accepted there, I tried to pursue scholarship so that I can pay my own education. I decided to be a volunteer to be as a head of English organization in my university. It's called Student of English Community. I, I decided to join a lot of speech competition so I can get an experience. I can get an experience to know people around me, to know how to communicate, to tell people what is in my head right now. I want to influence people to be like me. 
It's not like I want to be popular, no, it's not like that. I just want to date and know that I'm here. I don't have any money at first to go and to have an education. But I try so hard and I don't want to stop. Ladies and gentlemen, it's okay to fail. It's okay to be fault. It's okay to sad through a hard time. It's okay. But I'll, I don't want to give up. There is no giving up. I will try so hard because I know that someday, someday, a happiness come to me like a bullet. I will try so hard and I will never give up. And I want all of you to be like that too. So I decided I gotta get up, I gotta go out and meet the world head on folks, no matter how bad it is. And I know you guys, you can do the same thing too. Thank you so much for your time and let's meet again. See you.